What's up YouTube, fellow investors? Today I want to talk about what I think is the main problem with following a budget and why we tend to go over budget each and every month. So there's this effect out there and this is called Diderot. This was a French philosopher and the story goes like this. He received a gift. He received a new robe. It was a silk robe. Uh, before he received this gift, he didn't have a lot of things. He didn't have very, very nice things in his house. So he takes this gift and he's commenting and he's telling his friends, look how nice I look. I mean, this is a really nice gift. And then he looks around his house and his room and realizes it doesn't fit. Uh, nothing matches this nice new robe. So what does he do? He thinks about how he can start to make it fit. So he's looking at his wicker chair and he's going to upgrade it to a leather chair. He's looking at his cushions or his... Uh, curtains and he's going to upgrade those to silk as well. Um, he's going to paint, he's going to get new furniture, he's going to get a new table and chandelier. All of a sudden uh, with the gift that he received he went broke essentially. So this kind of says we can play out in modern times um, but what tends to happen is we don't receive a gift and then do it, we actually do it to ourselves. What we end up doing, a lot of us, is let me just zoom here. Is we go and buy something we think we need when we really don't uh, need this thing. It could be a new vehicle, or it could be couch cushions. It's something very simple, and all of a sudden we have this new thing, and it seems out of place, right? Because it's brand new, and you can really tell when you buy something brand new, and you don't have a lot of new things in your house. You just you just notice it and it's it's only in our heads right people come over and they visit or you drive up to somebody's house and they're, and they're not going to comment on how something seems out of place with your lifestyle like we are just over analyzing uh how other people view us right guess what other people are thinking about themselves just as much right they're not thinking about us so it doesn't matter this occurs in our own head this is why budgeting tends to be so difficult to follow and stick to a budget and come out each month meeting that budget. We buy something new or we buy something we don't need or we're in a store or in Walmart or Costco or something and we just pick up something kind of random that we think we need, we don't really need, maybe it's a TV and all of a sudden we got to get a dresser or a uh, TV stand and all of a sudden we have to get new speakers to match and all of a sudden we have to get some curtains so that we, it's dark enough when we watch a movie and then all of a sudden your budget's just blown out of the water, right? Um, if you have the self-control where you don't have this issue and you know like that is a fallacy, here's where you can take it one step further and this is returning back to Diderot and what happened to him. He received a nice gift, right? All of a sudden he's changing his entire lifestyle to match this gift which he didn't maybe didn't even ask for. So holidays are coming up, we got Christmas, Many of you are going to be receiving gifts. Some of them will be very nice things. Um, my family, we just received a vacuum cleaner. And it's a nice vacuum cleaner, right? And it doesn't really fit with many other things that we have. Mainly because we, we are, we're like Goodwill, secondhand, uh, very cheap, like these shelves here. We bought these shelves, I think they're $1.50 a piece from uh, Goodwill. This is how we operate. We just we desire to not spend a lot of money, and we've seen it in our in our own lives before we got married. That you tend to buy things that you don't need to impress people that you don't like, right? Um, I bought a vehicle at one point that was relatively new, and you guys know what buyer's remorse is. Man, did I have buyer's remorse? I was just sitting thinking, "Holy cats, twenty grand." You know, whatever it is. It, and, it, and this happens when you buy something for $20. You could buy something for $20 like a water bottle. You're like, oh, I need a water bottle since I'm going to the gym, right? I got this new gym membership. Everyone else is drinking water bottles. Guess what, guys? They have water fountains there. Like, just be very mindful of the things that you really don't need. And don't go picking up stuff to match a lifestyle. Or, you know, sometimes we use that as an excuse not to start, right? Like, oh, I don't have... And I would start my business or I, I would go to the gym, but I don't have a water bottle. I don't have a lock for my locker. I don't have a gym bag. 
I don't have X, Y, or Z. Uh, I would start my business, but I don't have a printer. How am I going to print out uh, my marketing materials? I don't have a phone for my for my business. I don't have a uh, uh, my business name registered with the state. But guess what? You can start. You can always go back later. It's more important to start. Um, that's the other th that's the other side of it. In terms of budgeting, I'm getting a little off track here. It's more like a rant video, so I apologize. But in terms of budgeting. Be mindful of your purchases and know like if you do need to purchase something new or even if it's used but but it's coming in your house and it's new that will kind of shift your perspective right and you'll start thinking how do I how do I get this to, to fit in with my lifestyle or how do I get my lifestyle to match that thing that I got um, and if you get a gift be very careful and sometimes we receive gifts it's okay to return them to the store right or re-gift just make sure that that doesn't end up going back to the person that gave you the gift initially um, because sometimes a gift is actually more harmful because you end up uh, participating in this Diderot effect and ultimately guys what it comes down to the the foundation of this mentality is don't do things for other people because guess what other people are not thinking about you and your lifestyle they're thinking about themselves Right? We get stuck in our own heads like, oh, how are people viewing me? Uh, oh my gosh, people are going to notice that these, these couch cushions don't go with the couch and don't match the other furniture in the room and the light doesn't really work in the space. Guess what? Who freaking cares? Like nobody. And if people do care, should you have them in your life or should you care about their opinion? I'm not saying get rid of your friends, but just, you know, let's think a little deeper. Let's think deep. Uh, I guess that's it. Ditero effect. Be careful of your purchases and how that will lead to other purchases down the line. Be careful of gifts you receive and then uh, foundational philosophy. Know what people are thinking about and don't try to impress other people. That's what it comes down to. If you can, if you can nail this down, internalize it and approach your budget with this in mind, I think you'll be a lot more successful in meeting your budget every single month. This is a, a huge barrier for why people are not able to get out of debt, are not able to quit their jobs and retire. Some people want to retire if they're ready for that life stage. And for other people that want to, um, they have an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial spirit and they want to go and do their own thing. Uh, this gets in the way as well. That you start buying things that you think you need, that you think you will need to start. I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm a little sick. Uh, it's that's an excuse right we use uh, purchases or things that we need to start as an excuse not to actually get started and that's something that I, uh, I struggle with as well I'm getting I'm getting better and better um, each day and that's part of building habits we can talk more about that in a future video very stoked to do that um, sorry about this is kind of like a rant I hope you guys enjoyed it if you uh, thought deeply more about your situation. Maybe you've done this in the past. Maybe you're doing it right now. Um, and it will come up. Watch, watch, and, watch and learn in your own life and, and in others. If you receive a nice gift, you're going to think, you're going to start thinking like this. Uh, watch your friends when they receive gifts. If they get something new, watch how they're, it just kind of spreads, right? It just grows like a, like a vine or a virus. Okay. That's all for today. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends. Thanks guys.